Dave Grohl exposed Meg doing a $20 charity to get video proof for Netflix. She pointed the camera at the victim. Dave Grohl spent over 24 hours volunteering at a Los Angeles shelter to prepare barbecue for hundreds of people experiencing homelessness, once again proving he's everyone's hero. He arrived at around 3 o'clock in the afternoon and then he was in our kitchen and the chef says he was prepping the meat. He was cutting it up and he was there until he put it in the smoker. He's definitely a craftsman when it comes to that. And then he spent the night and she had to say. His growl and his fellow barbecuers took turns smoking the meat overnight, even as a major winter storm moved through Southern California, dumping hail and rain on the shelter that night until it was ready at around 3 o'clock p.m. on February the 23rd, or about an entire day after he started cooking. Few people know there's a connection between Megan and Dave Grohl through this event last year. Megan was also a contributor to this charity project. However, what the staff said was just that she came, brought a few gift boxes, then pulled people who were busy at work to take pictures with her, and then around 15 minutes later she was gone. But what I found so repulsive about Megan going to the charity events was the exploitation of a horrific tragedy for a self-gratification, a means to try and elevate her shitty standing by getting video proof of how pious she is by spending less than $20 for content for a multi-million Netflix contract. Megan couldn't be bothered to donate cash to those who needed the help. Hell no. She was there to get a money shot and hop back on a borrowed jet with her entourage and not look back at the lives she interrupted. Dave Grohl used to be close friends with Harry, but after Megan appeared, the two no longer contact each other. Perhaps all of Harry's precious friendships ended after Megan entered the game. For those of you who may not know, Prince Harry founded the Invictus Games in 2014, which is an international sporting event for wounded, injured and sick servicemen and women. Both served on veterans for the first Invictus Games held from the 10th to the 14th of September 2014. There was a closing concert that included live performances from many musicians such as the Foo Fighters. During an interview following the Invictus Games, Dave Grohl was asked about the bromance he had with Prince Harry prior to the show and the rocker revealed how the two met in the first place. Following the closing ceremony of the Invictus Games as well as prior to the event, the two had the opportunity to spend time together. According to Dave Grohl, Prince Harry was one of the nicest guys he's ever met and told a humorous story about the time when he first met him and didn't know what to do. Dave Grohl revealed how he met Prince Harry. Chris from Coldplay Text me once and said is it okay if I give Prince Harry a phone number? I said yeah. Slim Prince Harry texted me and said I'd like to talk to you about how the show was putting on. I'd like to talk to you about this show we're putting on, so we talked on the phone about the Invictus Games. 